Hey y'all, it's Vicki, and welcome to the channel. Welcome to my video, whatever you want to call it. Today is Tuesday, January 11th, I think. And I'm not in the car again, because I got to pick up my friend, and she don't want me to film while she's in there with me. And her house is not that far away, so. And I might finish it in the car. I mean, it's probably about five minutes away, so anyway, I might have five minutes. So I want to come on and talk to you today about what I'm wearing. I just applied my lipstick. I applied this Milani True Red Liner, and then I applied the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson lipstick in Are They Filming? Now, this lipstick can be found, I think, right now at Nordstrom Rack, if anybody's interested. I do like this lipstick. Now, it does dry, especially as these lipsticks age, because this one is two years old now. It's still fine to shake them up and then I wipe them off. I use a paper towel or Kleenex or something and I wipe it off and then blot it. But what I'm going to apply on top is I've got several alternatives over here. But for now I'm going to apply see I always knock stuff off. I'm going to apply the City Beauty in Watermelon. And I'm just going to do it in the center. Okay, so that's it for today, or well, for this morning. You know, I'll change lipstick colors, you know. It just depends on how many times I take my mask off and look. <laughs> uh, this normally, of course, with a lip gloss on, it won't last all day, but if I had not put, if I just put like a lip balm on it, it might last most of the day, most of the day. Now, they do tend to dry out at my lines if I don't keep something on. So, you know, you have to take that into consideration when you're my age, which is 62, that things don't work like it does on a 20 something. Now my hair today, I've been messing with it and messing with it. I did tease it a little bit here. I really need to go to a professional and get it thinned out some in the crown or whatever, texturized. Not really thinned out. I don't want it no thinner than it is on top. So my hair has got, I got plenty of hair down here. It's my crown that has thinned out. So I need to get it texturized, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So today what I'm wearing is I mix the Dior matte with the Lisa Eldridge foundation. I do like this combo much better than the glow and the Dior matte together. That Dior Glow, if you've got dry skin, I'm sure it's fine. But for me, it is just too glowy. It's just like that um, L'Oreal. I don't know what I did with it. But anyway, that one and then, of course, the balm together. Now, this one, you know, as long as I don't use a moisturizer, this will uh, do pretty good on me. I do think, and I was talking to Lourdes, one of my friends here, and she was saying that she it, this oxidized on her. I do think it oxidizes. You know, the more I get into the car, so I wish now I went a shade lighter than what I did. So if I reorder this, I'll go a shade lighter. So my suggestion is go a shade lighter because of the oxidation. L'Oreal foundations for some reason oxidize, some of them oxidize on me and some of them don't. I don't know why, but nothing oxidizes me like that cover girl back in the 70s <laughs> when it turns you orange. All right, mascara today is the Roller Lash and the Calorie. I didn't bring them back over here. Uh, that, that one's mixed together. And then I use the, the Beauty For Real This right now is my favorite combo. The Beauty For Real eyeshadow stick. This one is uh, something latte. I know it says it online, but I'll never see it on here. Maybe it's on the box. Maybe it's on the box. All day latte, and it does last all day. Now it will fade some, and that's why I've got it a little bit dark right now. But this is the one I use on the outer V. 
Now, I've been using Lisa's and Christian Aldette's pencil on the, kind of in this corner right here. But today I decided to switch it up and use the, uh, this one from Beauty For Real. And of course the name's not gonna be on here and I don't have the box, but this is what it looks like. It's a little darker than Lisa's, but it works. It works. Not quite as sharp a contrast, maybe. I did add a touch of that wild, or wild Jaguar palette from Huda on top. Just dotted just a little bit of the shimmer. I always like a shimmer in and here. And I set the powder today with, I set my powder. I set the foundation with the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. This is very matte. I wanted to go matte because I just was tired of the glowiness. And it's not that the Diorno powder is glowy, it's just, it's not matte enough for me. So if you don't like a true matte powder, you probably would love the Dior, and I do love the Dior, but some days I just want to be totally matte. And then I used the Jeffree Star. No, I did not use the Jeffree Star. I used the, I had it in my hand and started to, I used the Maybelline Age Rewind in brightener. And then I used the Jaclyn powder here to set it. And speaking of Jaclyn, um, it says that that one is coconut. No, it says that one's lilac, but it don't look lilac to me. I mean, it looks more pink. I don't know, whatever. It's not the color of lilac, I believe. Anyway, I saw where Jacqueline got engaged. And they recorded it all. So, I don't, I shouldn't comment about it. None of my business. <laughs> so, I'll be nice. I'll be nice. And let's see, what else do I have I can show you? Not much anything today. Um, I really don't have a whole lot to say today. <laughs> I'll probably will take this lipstick with me to tone maybe this red down later on, but I, I don't know why I have on a mask, it don't matter. I am wearing my Georgia Bulldogs sweatshirt since they won last night. I've had this sweatshirt for years and I've never worn it. Never worn it. And the reason I've not worn it is because I'm always so hot. Well, now that I'm in a, I'm in a room where I can control the air, it's not so bad because I can turn it that I can turn it really really cold with the sweatshirt on. Also, one reason why I haven't worn it is the neck drives me crazy, and I guess I've lost enough weight now where the neck is not driving me crazy. I thought about cutting it, but then I thought, no, I'm not gonna cut it. So the neck isn't, you know, like I say, I think I've lost. I don't know, six pounds in the past couple weeks. So maybe that's helped get this down a little bit. Um, uh, uh, I guess I'll meet you in the car. So, Y'all have a nice day if I don't come back home, but I'll, I'll try to meet you in the car. Hi, good work. Jenny used to say that, I miss Jenny. know if she's watching me or not I think she uh, found her something else that she enjoys better than YouTube social media and that's what she's doing and that's good I mean I'm not saying that you can't be on social media but sometimes I can understand why you want to find something else that is better suited for you it's hard on YouTube sometimes. It's hard with the negativity. And I know I've, I said I was going to do a Q&A, and I am. I keep forgetting to bring, I type the questions up at work, and i got to bring them home and do it. And, you know, it's just hard sometimes. Now, I admit, I don't get that many negativity, negative messages. Sometimes I do. Most of the time, I just delete them. Every once in a while, I wished after I deleted them, I saved them. <laughs> but then again, it just, I don't know. I don't know why people do it. 
I don't know why. I mean, I can I can understand it sometimes when, and I mean, it's not that it's, and it's definitely not hate. I will never say anything negative I get is hate. Unless it just, you know, they say they hate you or whatever. <laughs> but just because somebody leaves you a negative message doesn't mean it's hate. So, anyway. What I'm getting at is that I understand sometimes why you have to get, you want to get your point across. But there's so many other ways to get your point across by just respectively talking to them. Maybe in a DM versus putting something up in a comment because what happens is it brings people want to defend you and it just starts yeah whatever now a couple times on instagram i've got i've got more on instagram than i have on youtube and if it's really somebody that i feel deserves it i sick silly on <laughs> she knows how to handle them so anyway we'll move on from that I was trying to think when I was in here letting the car warm up that I didn't say anything else. You know, I just think of things better in the car than I do sitting there at that table. And I don't know why that is. I just do. I need to write down notes. Okay, this morning I watched some videos. So, we'll talk about that. I watched um, Candy. Candy got her new denim bag. It's beautiful. I, you know, I can tell you right now, if I was... If my budget was much larger that's a bag that I would probably succumb to buying <laughs> and and maybe not if I had a bunch of them but I don't know it's it's just really pretty then um, I watched Lisa's video on her style inspiration from Haley Bieber and I watched, what else did I watch this morning? I should know. Oh, I watched Dustin Daly talking about that mother of eight. I don't know anything about that. I know it's drama, but it sounds like she's not, a, she's, well, he called her mommy dearest. And I, I think she definitely is mommy dearest and more if it's what he says is true. Oh, there's one thing I want to talk about that I've not talked about, that I've not whined about. My Caudalie order. I ordered that large Caudalie one spray when it was on sale. They had the sale on the website. The Friends and Family Sale, back in November. Do you know I haven't got it yet? And of course, I contacted them. And they finally come back and said, well, it must be lost. They'd resend it. Well, it's now been two weeks, and when I go to FedEx, and normally FedEx is better, and I mean, I don't know if the weather's playing a part of this or whatever, it says delayed. And I don't know if they're using some kind of shipping, third-party shipping to get it to the post office or what, but these companies need to really stop with these third-party shippers if they're not gonna go full follow through. I know Jeffree Star Cosmetics right now is getting a lot of complaints. And I quit ordering from his website because of that very reason. He used some third party that I guess gets him some big deal, but it takes forever to get a package. I want my package within a reasonable amount of time. I think two weeks is a reasonable amount of time in this day and time. I order from Lisa Eldridge and it's there in three days. Well, I did find out that she does have a warehouse in the United States. It's up in Ohio. So she does have a ship. Uh, warehouse distributor here but she sends everything two day two day shipping free shipping so anyway i'm at my friend's house to pick her up so i talk to y'all later love you bye